Happy Monday, Fit Family, and I want to give you a little bit of a review today, a workout review from this magazine, and it's something that I used to do a lot, and I thought I wanted to share with you. So for the last, let's say, 10 days, I was trying out some of the workouts in this magazine just to see how they feel, how it is on a easy to hard level, and what I thought about it as being a personal trainer for the last few years, and uh, as you're going to see, I did a lot of workouts and I had some comments to it. You can see me doing it in real action. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm here for you. I want to do some research just to show you because I know everybody's getting anxious about the summer, especially after this pandemic, want to go out more. And just to want to say this, you are ready the way you are. You don't have to get bikini ready. The only thing you have to do to get bikini ready is to go buy a bikini and put it on. That's my personal view on it. I'm going to be wearing a bikini no matter what. So anyway, so I just want to start this out with please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. But what I'm showing you is kind of what I would like to see if someone who is a personal trainer can review some workouts. So that's pretty much what I did. Let's go through our first few workouts. And thank you again so much for joining me today. I really appreciate all your support. And let's do this. So the first workout you're going to see is uh, it's going to be a total body workout. And what it is is that you have to perform each move in the order for about 30 seconds and then you rest for 30 seconds before moving on to the next workout. As you can see, I'm laying it down, we're doing kettlebell swings, then a plant transfer, mountain climbers, push up to row, jumping lunges, curl to press, single leg bridge, bicycle cr crunch, and skaters. All these nine moves were total body. I felt like they were great for someone who hasn't worked out in a while and you want to just get back into shape. You can obviously make them easier or harder with lighter weights, with more rest time, but I really tried to stick to the 30 seconds rest in between each move. And then I took about a minute off and I did everything again. And it was good. It was a good workout. I definitely felt, like I said, my total body. And it was something that I think anybody who is just starting up again, who is hesitant to go into weight training, can definitely get into because it hits every single body part very effortlessly. It's not a game, it's a rich thing. second workout I did was called the superset results. So the theory between superset is that you're hitting the same muscle groups back to back. And for this workout, what you had to do is you have to do 10 to 12 reps of each move, and then you rest for another 30 seconds between each superset, and then you repeat the series once or twice, depending on how you feel. So the first one was one of my hardest ones with balance, is a single leg squat. I did about 10 to 12 for them. And then I did the side crunch, which was a little bit awkward just because of my short legs. <laughs> the second superset was the plie squats followed by the side leg lift. And then the third superset was a boxing lunge with weights and then with a kneeling row. Now the boxing lunge was something interesting. I haven't done this move in a while with heavy weights for me, which is the eight pounds that I'm holding on to. And then the kneeling roll, the weight was a little bit easier. But I want to see how I can go through the whole workout. So that's why I didn't change my weight rep. And then the fourth superset was a double ball swing and a 90 by 90 crunches. It was very interesting to do all these moves back to back. I was trying to see how the body would react and it was pretty straightforward. The fifth superset was squat to raise with some free weights and then a prone back extension. A lot of us worry about the front of our bodies but don't really pay attention to how the back of our bodies are, especially when we're sitting all day, we gotta work the back of the body and even just doing this prone back extension was a great move. And then the last superset was the dumbbell leg curl with the staggered press up.
The next set of exercises are just our ab exercises, which is a five minute workout core, which was interesting. Again, shadow boxing, something I love to do. Then a twisting crunch and then squat thrusters. You have to perform each of these moves in order and you pretty much did them for what, 30 seconds and then you rested. So as you'll see, I performed each of them, rest of 30 seconds, and then I did them again according to the workout. Our second workout was called the 10 minute middle clutcher. And this one was pretty hard because you had to do a 30 second plank first, then you rest for 30 seconds, then you repeat it twice. Then you did burpees, you rested for 30 seconds. You went to a leg up crunch, you did that for 30, 30 seconds, repeated it. Then you went back to the burpees. And then the last move was doing scissors, did that twice with a 30 second rest and went back to burpees. So this was really cool, it added more cardio compared to the first ab circuit. The last ab circuit in this book was called the 20 minute belly buster and this one was pretty difficult. Um, I was sweating a lot more than I thought I was going to but it was good for me to challenge myself. For this workout we did up and down planks alternating between your right arm leading and then your left arm leading. You did it for about 30 seconds. You rested for about a minute and you repeated this twice. Then you moved on to mountain climbers. Again, you did the mountain climbers for 30 seconds. Then you repeated this three times. I think I only did this twice and that was my fault. So I apologize for that. The third move was a Russian twist. Russian twist, leaning back, keeping the back nice and upright for 30 seconds, resting for half 30 seconds, then repeating that twice. The fourth move was an explosive push up, which is a move I haven't really done in a while, even on my knees. It was a lot more difficult than I thought, which makes me want to work more on my upper body, which is a good indicator of getting better and stronger. And I did that for 30 seconds, rested for about a minute, and then did it again two more times. Then the last move was a reverse crunch for that lower belly, my cookie pouch. You did the move for 30 seconds, rested for 30 seconds, and then did it twice. And then the killer of this 20 minute belly buster was doing 60 seconds of continuous mountain climbers, which my arms were feeling, my abs were feeling, and my heart rate was definitely feeling. So it was a really good workout. seconds then you rested for 30 seconds before moving on to the next exercise except for the clamshell and the crossover kick with dumbbells because you have to alternate sides so I did each move for 30 seconds rested for 30 and then went back the first move was a stiff leg deadlift which we all done for our hamstrings and our glutes 
felt good. I did a little heavier weight because I wanted to challenge myself and I was really nice and strong. The second move was a squat to leg raise, doing a squat and then lifting the legs to the side, which was great to enhance. And then the third move was a clamshell, keeping your feet together, open up your knees for 30 seconds and then switching. The fourth was move was a move I had never really done. It was called crossover kick with the dumbbell. So you put the dumbbell in the back of your knee. And then the last move of this circuit was going into a deep squat and jumping up, raising those arms and going into a jumping squat for 30 seconds. And the next workout was a boot camp burn and I definitely felt this workout. So for this workout, I had to perform each move for 30 seconds in order without resting as much as I could. And then after the last exercise, I rested for a minute and a half before repeating it twice. This was no joke. The first move was a plank tap, alternating hands, tapping through your shoulders, staying it up for 30 seconds. Then you went to skipping. Skipping was just pretending you had a jump rope and skipping. This is a move I do after every other. The third move was a wide leg mountain climber, just keeping that leg at the outside. I didn't do any extra jumping because I did feel like something in the back of my heel, didn't want to rip my Achilles, and then went back to skipping. The fourth move was a front to back sprint, so staying nice and low, going into a lunge, going forward, and then going backwards, and then switching sides so you don't create one dominant side more than the other. Then going back to 30 seconds of sprinting. The fifth move was sparring, so it was a jab with your left arm, cross with your right, and then a hook with your left. Did that for 30 seconds, then went back to skipping. The sixth move was a, was a plyo lunge. This work, all these workouts are about pushing yourself. So that's what I did. I pushed myself and was able to get through it. Then went back to 30 seconds of skipping. And then everybody's favorite move was coming up, which was the burpee. And definitely going down to a burpee, doing the shoulder taps, and then jumping up, going back to skipping, which seems like a little bit of a rest after burpees. And then the last move was the out and in squat jump which was great because i've done this before on my own but doing in the circuit was amazing and i was sweating through this routine and i did it two more times it definitely kept my heart rate up and i was very impressed with this next workout i wanted to try out because it was just uses a resistance band i have a lot of older clients and sometimes they're afraid of lifting heavy because they might hurt themselves so i had to perform each of these moves for 12 reps and then resting for 30 seconds to a minute between each set and then doing the series twice which i did and it's just a simple bicep curl with the band. Again, you could wrap your hands around the band to make it harder or just hold on to it the way it is to make it easier. Then you're going right into a standing lateral raise, getting that shoulder burn. The third move is a seated row for the back, keeping the chest up and really pulling that band back towards your hips, not higher, keeping the upper shoulders down. And then the last one was a tricep extension, obviously switching arms after 30 seconds to keep the set. This was a good workout. I did this after I did some cardio. You wanna breathe and hold a move in this position and then go slowly back. All right, kettlebell. I had to do a kettlebell workout, so I did. This kettlebell workout was intense. Yeah, I had to perform each move for about one minute, for one minute unless otherwise noted, and then do 30 seconds of the kettlebell swings in between each move. So I started off with a one minute kettlebell swing. Then I went to a minute of these renegade rows, 30 seconds on each arm and then switching. I did start to stagger my hips a little bit so I really need to concentrate. Then doing another 30 seconds of kettlebell swings. The third move was the overhead tricep extension. This one I got a little bit too confident. I picked a weight that I thought I could handle for a minute, but it was really heavy. So as you can see, I take a little bit of a break, but that's okay. I wanted to push myself. So I decided to stay with the weight. After doing that, going to another 30 seconds of kettlebell swings. The fourth move was an upright row. And this was also challenging after doing the swings because I could feel a little bit in my arms. And I know that for my swings, I needed to use more of my legs. Did that, then followed that up with 30 seconds of kettlebell swings. The fifth move was a one arm chest press. I picked obviously a lighter weight, pressing it to 90 for, 50, for 30 seconds and then switching to the other arm. Going back to 30 seconds of kettlebell swings and then the last move was a single arm curl. 30 seconds on one arm and then 30 seconds on the other. This workout was a little bit different because after you did the first circuit, your second round, you had to do only 30 seconds of each set 
with the kettlebell swings in between each move that I just described. And then on your last round, you had to take out the cardio and just do all these moves in order. So it'd be a kettlebell swing, renegade road, overhead tricep extension, upright row, one arm chest press, and then a single arm curl. This workout was more intense than I thought. Definitely felt it a lot of my legs and my core with all those kettlebell swings, but it was good for me to go through the workout. important so as you can see I did these moves the first stretch was a classic quad stretch I need to use a chair just because my right knee doesn't have full range of motion so I need to hold on to something when I was stretching out my quad I held the quad for 30 seconds and then slowly switched to the other side the second stretch is the hamstring stretch just standing with your feet hip width apart and squatting about halfway extending my leg in front of me and keeping the toes up to increase the stretch I held that for 30 seconds while breathing and then switching to my other leg and doing that also. The third move was a lunge with a twist, turning the front of my legs. I was going to a low lunge and then trying to open up my chest as wide as I can to, to get a full stretch. And the next move was the wide V stretch, getting the inner thighs, back of the legs, trying to just really stretch out any other parts of my body. For that day, my hamstrings were really tight. So I definitely enjoyed the stretch for 30 seconds on each side. And then I repeated it on both sides. The fifth one was a tricep stretch, trying to open up the chest. As you can see, some people who do this stretch try to arch their lower back, and you really have to be mindful of it. So you want to just breathe very calmly, always pull on your exhale, and stretch. And stay in that stretch for 30 seconds. You'll realize you're a lot more tighter than you think you are. So the sixth one was the supine figure four. This always hits your outer hip, bending my knees, putting my right ankle over my left knee 90 degrees, and pulling that leg towards me, definitely feel the stretch in the back of the legs, glutes, and hips. The seventh stretch was the reverse tabletop. I haven't done this in a long time because I have lower back issues. And then the last stretch was a low back twist. You want to pretty much lying face up, keeping the knees into my chest, and then slowly driving my one half of my body towards one side, and then turning my neck and my chest to the other to feel that total spine stretch. So what do I want to say about this magazine and all their workouts? I think that it is a great start to work out, to challenge yourself. And honestly, for me, I like the fact that I gave myself a break from my own workouts and I let this magazine kind of dictate what I was going to do for about 10 days of the workout. I took a day off in between four of those days and it was good for me to challenge myself. 
So I highly recommend this book if you've not gone and really worked out in a long time and you need some ideas. There's one tidbit, obviously you have to memorize the moves or keep the book with you. So that was something that I had to be mindful of. But other than that, I think all the workouts were really great. And like I said, if you need to start, start off nice and slow, be kind to yourself, but you are so much stronger than you think you are. I want to thank you all for your time. Next week, I'm going to finish the review of the other workouts in this book that I didn't get to go through and some of the information that they give you based on nutrition, losing weight, staying flexible, and everything else that comes with fitness. Remember, fitness is not what you look like. It's about your body moving, your mental health, and everything else that we can never measure. Thank you all. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And I'll see you real soon.